good evening everyone this is nagarajan from openmentor.net is my voice clear to you all can you please raise the hands okay great okay let us uh, recapture what we have seen yesterday yesterday we talked about what is a database management system what are the features of dbms and rdbms uh, the important things are like uh, store retrieve search sort group present then we talked about how to log into mysql then we also talked about creating a table what are the components of a database right then we also talked about what is a table within a table what is there how to insert the data how to get the data this is what we have seen yesterday today we are going to have further more stuff in mysql to start with the first thing is uh, let me say show databases we also talked about create alter drop the ddl data definition language and data manipulation language we create a database we used it and then to see the tables inside the database we did that okay we also talked about select and insert and what is the way to put the data into the database this is what we have seen in the last class now we are going to go further ahead in uh, this particular session okay now i am going to drop the table trains okay i am dropping the table trains now i am going to add one more table create another table now i am going to introduce further more data for example i am creating a new table because the create table itself has got lot of variations yesterday we simply created a table with the integer field and uh, typically uh, character field today we are going to go further create table i am creating another table called uh, my table okay i am giving the table name as my table i am making the first column okay for example pnr number i am making it as integer and i am going to give one more information here primary key primary key meaning that this is unique this does not repeat within the same table a value stored in that particular column will not repeat i am going to use the keyword primary key this is the first column that i am creating in the table now i am going to have one more column train number another integer now i am going to say this train number in the database when you are inserting the data it can be empty or it you can force that it should not be empty empty means there is null there is something called a null that means it doesn't store any value but suppose i say the train number must have a value okay then if it has to have a value then you need to use the keyword called not null not null meaning it must have a value i will show what is the effect of this not null when we are trying to insert the data into the table now i am going to have one more field called uh, date of journey doj this date of journey i want to give a type as date okay and i want to give one more uh, parameter or uh, say column 
number of passengers n p s g r passengers again integer okay i just create this there are four columns i create pnr number integer train number date of journey and number of passengers this table is created now i say describe my table it shows in the null column over here it says pnr number cannot be null a primary key pri means primary key a primary key cannot be null it must have a value and it must have a unique value a not null column train number it shows no that means it cannot be empty the other two columns date of journey and n passenger can be null now i feel okay in this table i have added these four columns but i i feel that i forgot to have one more column or two more columns okay seat berth from station to station i want to add these things what i can do is once the table is created you don't have to drop the table and then recreate you can always do alter table my table alter table is the data definition language alter the table my table add column okay i am adding a new column okay i forgot to add at the time of creation now i want to add what is the column i want to add this is a uh, seat birth okay seat birth i am making it as character 1 now it has added one more thing now i am going to have add column from station okay i am going to introduce another data type called where care of say 20 i will explain what this is now i am going to say another column to station where care of 20 now describe my table previously it was having only four columns now since i have given add column it has added this column this has added this column this has added this column now i feel okay i have added so many columns into this now i feel oh okay uh, this uh, seat birth or say from station is a worker 20 i want to make it worker 30 initially i didn't have the column itself now i feel this field should have more width i want to change that column you can do that by one more command alter table modify column what is the column i want to modify from station what is the thing that i want to do now i am giving a new definition for that worker of say 30 okay there is a from st issue okay just uh, it is it is giving there is a syntax error that is uh, okay i forgot to give the table name right here my table now it has modified that column to 30 now i am going to modify the from station to station field also to where character previously before this alter table modify it was work at 20 now i say describe my table look at this now it is 30 previously it was 20 after that i modified it to 30 so you can change the column you can add more columns you can also do uh, change the tags the types as well as the width suppose i have i added one more column for example alter table my table suppose i add um, phone okay phone number sorry add column add column phone number i say integer it adds the column now if i say describe my table the phone number is added suppose i feel i don't want this column over here 
what you can do is again alter table my table drop column phone num now let us do a describe my table previously this column was not there phone number column I added that column I feel now this column is not necessary you can say drop column so I can create a table I can alter the table okay I can modify the column I can remove the column under this null null means these two values at the time of creation are altering if you use the keyword not null right in the create table definition if I go back if you look here in the create table I have given not null train number the column name is train number the data type is integer I use the keyword not space null if you use then the column type will become not null if you don't give that keyword it will always become it will, when it says yes that means it can show a null value I will show that how it is internally having that information is this clear we just saw altering the table adding a column modifying a column removing a column or dropping a column but modification or dropping you need to be very careful with the data if right now the table is empty how do I know it is empty select star from my table there is no data if it already has a data and then if I drop a column you lose that information so you should be very very clear that before dropping or modifying adding a column is not a problem you are adding a new column but when you are removing a column or modifying a column what happens to the existing data you need to take a backup and then only modify or drop then you have to get the data you should be careful good now we have created the table altered 